Whenever I'm on social media, I see loads of stories about cannabis treating cancer, even about cannabis being a cure for cancer. What's the truth to this? Could cannabis cure cancer? What does the research say? Hi there, my name is Dr. Charlotte Repschläger, and that's a great question. As a cancer charity, we actually get asked quite often about the link between cannabis and cancer, and this is a great opportunity to set the record straight. The short answer is that we simply don't know yet if cannabis or any of the chemicals found in cannabis are useful to treat cancer. And that's because research into cannabis and its connection to cancer is still in its infancy. Most of the work to date has been done either in cells or mice. The human studies that we have are unfortunately often small and can't always give us straightforward answers. So for example, one study in cannabis users found that they had a decreased risk of bladder cancer, but an increased risk of prostate cancer. So really all I'm trying to say is that the jury is still out. So you might now be thinking, I'm pretty sure I heard about someone who's been cured by cannabis. And the tricky thing with those stories is that we don't know if we have all the facts. We often don't know anything about the exact type of cancer the person had. We don't know if they underwent any other treatments. And most of the time, we really don't know anything about their medical history. Taken together, these things make it impossible to judge whether cannabis meaningfully contributed to their treatment success. And that's why research and regulated clinical trials are so important, because they allow us to make informed decisions on what treatments are likely to work best based on solid evidence. So, is there something in cannabis that we can use to treat cancer? Well, from a scientific perspective, it's a resounding maybe. It's definitely an exciting area of research, but much more needs to be done before we have a better idea of the potential harms and benefits of cannabis and its chemicals in cancer.